The Lhasa So is a small dog with a bright memorable appearance and a truly strong character. The breed is distinguished by its balanced psyche, high intelligence and boundless devotion to its owner. Historical reference. The ancient, mysterious Lhasa So breed originates in the cold mountains of Tibet. It appeared thanks to natural selection, which lasted more than one millennium. The first information about the Aso dates back to 800 BC. About 4,000 years ago, dogs began to live in Tibetan monasteries, where they served as watchmen and companions. There are numerous records in the annals of how the Aso saved people from fire with their barking and led the monks out of burning temples. However, for the most part, furry dogs were kept in the form of talismans to attract happiness and good luck to the house. There was a belief that after the death of the owner, his soul moved into the body of a pet. It is believed among dog handlers that Lhasa So descended from a prehistoric wolf and aboriginal Tibetan dogs. Also, some geneticists suggest that it is from the Lhasa that the modern Pekingese, Shih Tzu and many other decorative dogs originate. The breed got its name from the place of origin of animals. Lhasa is the historical capital of Tibet, and the second part of the name means bearded. The literal translation is a bearded dog from Lhasa. A so has another name, Dining Admirer. The hungry ministers of the monasteries, who went out to the people with sermons and for food, taught the dogs to sigh loudly and pitifully. People really wanted to feed the adorable little dogs, and at the same time they had to treat the monks. Thus, both the dogs and their owners were well fed. The monks considered the breed to be sacred, so the export of puppies outside the country was punishable by death. Animals could only be presented as a sign of great gratitude and respect. Buddhist lamas often presented dogs to members of the nobility, but to prevent the breed from spreading outside of Tibet, only male puppies were donated. Since Tibet was an isolated territory for a long time, they did not know about such pets in the outside world. The breed began its distribution in Europe from Great Britain, where the dogs were brought by the Englishman Frederick Bailey in 1904. Animals came to the United States only in 1923. It was a pair of dogs donated by the Dalai Lama to Sir Siddham Cutting. In 1935, Colonel Bailey compiled a description of the breed and became the developer of the first standards, which have remained practically unchanged since then. For a long time, the breed was ranked among the Tibetan Terriers, which are similar in breed characteristics to the Cairn Terriers. And only in 1965, the Lhasa So was singled out as a separate breed. Unfortunately, on the territory of Russia, Lhasa So are not widespread. A small number of kennels are engaged in breeding, which leads to the complexity of the acquisition and the high price of puppies. The character and behavior of Lhasa Aso. Aso is called a big dog in a small package for a reason. According to the owners, despite its small size, the animal has the soul and heart of a large dog. The character of the pet is very controversial, it can be gentle and mischievous, at the same time independent and wayward. Distinctive character traits of Aso. Dogs of this breed have high intelligence and easily learn the necessary commands. So that they are not afraid of the world around them and take a worthy place in society, it is recommended to train puppies from early childhood. A so get along well with all family members, but they consider only one person to be the owner. Giving love and devotion, a so do not forget to demand reciprocity. Dogs love to be dominant, so it is imperative that the owner is in a leading position. It is generally accepted that Lhasa so do not get along well with young children, but in most cases this belief is absolutely groundless. Many owners claim that dogs are sincerely attached to small children, sensitively guard their peace and often act as a baby monitor. Dogs do not like a familiar attitude towards themselves, therefore, from early childhood, a child needs to be explained and shown by personal example how to handle a pet. They get along well with other dogs, peacefully coexist with cats and calmly react to smaller animals, to strangers, dogs are wary and sometimes openly hostile. Socialized dogs are quite tolerant of outsiders and do not show open aggression. This breed is characterized by a close bond with the owner and a great need for communication. Without proper attention, dogs become depressed, which can lead to serious mental health problems. Lhasa so love active games. Pets retain puppy behavior even in adulthood, so there should be a lot of different toys in the house. Dogs, distinguished by their resistance to stressful situations, easily tolerate moving, transportation and change of environment. Care and maintenance of the Lhasa So. In order for Lhasa So to quickly get used to the house, look decent and presentable, and have excellent health, he needs to be provided with proper care. Necessary conditions of detention. Lhasa can live both in an apartment and in their own house, in both cases the dogs will feel comfortable. Pets are happy to participate in all family affairs, but they should have their own sleeping place, located away from heaters and drafts. There they can retire and take a break from the hustle and bustle. 
If the dog will live in a crowded house, it is worth considering that the animal will react to any external noise with loud barking. Physical activity of the pet will help reduce these manifestations, but it is unlikely that it will be possible to completely eliminate this character trait. It is worthwhile to responsibly approach the appearance of a puppy in the house and buy him convenient bowls for food and drink, care products for a long luxurious fur coat, various toys, equipment for walking. Hygiene. The Lhasa so requires constant, at times laborious maintenance. However, if hygiene procedures are carried out regularly, they will be less time-consuming and tiring. Food. In order for a dog to be healthy and energetic, it is necessary to ensure that it is properly fed. When compassing a daily menu for this animal, you should adhere to the following rules. Feed the dog with either dry food or natural food. Mixed food is not desirable, as it badly affects the functioning of the gastrointestinal tract. With natural feeding, the pet should be given fresh or thermally processed foods. New products need to be introduced into the menu in small portions and carefully monitor the animal's well-being. Individually select the amount of food. Dispose of the leftover portions, except dry food, immediately. Fresh filtered water should always be freely available. Add mineral and vitamin complexes for long-haired dogs to the menu. When choosing a diet from concentrates, preference is given to premium or holistic dog food for small breeds. The brand of food is chosen taking into account the individual characteristics of the pet. Walking. Pets are not very fond of physical activity, so one-time walk a day is enough for them. The breed is great for seniors and families that are inactive. Under the condition of organized leisure time in the house, dogs can do without walking on the street for some time. But walks cannot be completely ignored. The dog may get bored and will start barking loudly, chewing on shoes and ruining furniture. Lhasa so needs to be regularly prevented from parasites. If the dog has become infected with fleas or lice and the owner missed this moment, it is quite difficult to remove the parasites at an advanced stage. Pets are extremely sensitive to high temperatures, so during hot weather it is better to keep outdoor walks to a minimum. For walking, it is better to use a harness instead of a collar. This will prevent problems with the respiratory system. Education and training. Socialization and obedience are top priorities in the education of the Lhasa So. Immediately after the appearance of a new pet, you need to explain to him the order in the house and set priorities. As soon as the owner shows weakness, training becomes completely useless. When training an obstinate animal, you must adhere to the following rules. Learning should be short, simple and fun. Do not get hung up on one exercise and repeat it more than five times in a row. Use treats as a reward. You cannot be rude in physical punishment. You need to show maximum patience and achieve complete trust from the dog. It is enough just to slightly raise the voice or change the intonation for the dog to understand what is required of it. If these simple rules are followed, training will run smoothly and will soon bring positive results. Regular activities with your pet should wean your dog. Succumb to inexplicable and uncontrollable aggression. Spoil property in the owner's apartment. Show disobedience on the street. Bark loudly, attracting attention. Be afraid of sudden movements and loud sounds. To beg. Exhibit inappropriate behavior at home alone. Shit in the wrong places. If you can't socialize your dog on your own, you should turn to professional instructors for help. Diseases and their prevention. Lhasa so are aboriginal dogs, therefore representatives of this breed have excellent health and a balanced psyche. Animals are considered centenarians, and some specimens manage to overcome the 20-year age bracket, which is quite a rare occurrence for dogs. Buying puppies. When choosing a pet, you need to decide for what purpose it is needed. Typically, there are three options here. As a home companion, for breeding, to participate in exhibitions. The answer to this question will determine the class and therefore the cost of the dog. It is also a good idea to immediately determine the sex of the future pet. Lhasa girls have a softer and more flexible character. Males look more imposing than bitches and shed less. Small so are similar to the puppies of other dogs, which may not always be purebred. Therefore, in order not to buy a pig and a poke, it is better to contact a breeding nursery with a good reputation. Before buying, it is recommended to inspect not only the puppy itself, but also its parents, as well as the place and conditions in which it was kept. When buying Lhasa so, you should pay attention to the following points. The breeder must always clearly and concisely answer any questions about his dogs. The puppy must not be weaned before eight weeks of age. The general sanitary condition of the housing where puppies are kept should be clean and tidy. Pedigree and show marks from both parents. The puppy must have a metric, vaccination marks. The dog must be sold through a sales contract, which must include a clause on the possible return of the puppy to the kennel. 
a short list of indicators that may indicate the excellent condition of the baby at the time of choice. The puppy's ribs can be felt to the touch, but not visible. At 8 weeks, the puppy should confidently hold the tail and rarely lower it. By 3 months, a so puppies reach about two-thirds of the height of an adult dog. The presence of a rounded bloated abdomen along with general emaciation can be the cause of helminthic invasion. Soft and silky coat. Clean skin, without dandruff, combs and characteristic odor. Symmetrical, without edema, redness, inflammation of the eye. Ears of natural pink color, without rash, sulfur and foreign smell. The nose is of a uniform color, without mucus and discharge. There is no tartar and plaque on the teeth, bruises on the gums. The anus is clean. Limbs are straight, movement and gait are light, smooth, without lameness. The puppy should not be intimidated or overly aggressive. Even when choosing a companion puppy, you need to follow the recommendations above. Otherwise, you can buy a baby with a whole range of breed diseases. The cost of the puppies. Prices for Lhasa so are determined by tribal status, the purity of the pedigree, size, age, color, gender. The cost of a Lhasa so puppy varies from 500 to 1500 US dollars.